I'm the guy that makes the customs that you think are coming out. That that's that's my lane. That's 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 my style. I'm the color guy. I'm the I'm the factory, you know, finish guy. How you guys doing? My name is Malcolm Garrett. Came all the way from New Jersey to Angeles to show you guys how I get down on my customs. I don't I don't draw on shoes. I don't put portraits. It's it's dope, but I like to make the shoe where when you wear it, people are looking at you like, wow. Today we're working on a Nike Hirachi Triple Black. What I'm basically going to do, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Nice fall colors, color block it out. And um, it's pretty much it, probably change the laces. And we're gonna have fun, you know, and we're gonna do it up. So first, obviously we have to unlace the shoe. Me, I tend to lose laces, so I'll just throw them in the box. Nice and secure. So now I'm gonna take the shoe up. Taping is important. If you don't wanna get paint on certain areas, you must tape unless you have a steady hand. Sometimes I do tape, sometimes I don't tape. I have a pretty steady hand. And that just comes with practice. So right now I'm just gonna tape the midsole because I am not gonna be painting that. I normally don't do midsoles. And if I do, it depends on the shoe. On this one, I won't because of the rubber. So step two, now I'm gonna prep it with the leather prep. You don't need to douse it. You don't need to put a lot on there. I do a circular motion to make sure I get everything. You, may, you wanna make sure you get it good where the laces are because what happens is if you don't do it good, when you put the paint on and you put the laces through, it might rub it off. Step three. So today, I'm a guy, I like to mix colors. I like to put colors together that don't go together. I don't believe in a color palette. I just do whatever and I feel like it'll work. So I'm gonna do the olive, emerald green. I'm gonna mix them together. So the way I do it, I'll say, you know, one, two. It's two seconds of that. One, two, three, four and then I'll mix it until I get the color desired. Rule of thumb, you may wanna put white down first. I know the emerald, you really don't have to put white down on the uh, black, it, it'll take it. So I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna see. And test, see, it goes right on there. That's a good thing. That's pretty much it. And we're just gonna go light. That's my first coat. It's looking pretty dope already. And I'm big on factory looking finishes, so when it's all said and done, I want this shoe to look like it's coming out next week at the Nike store or online. So now I'm gonna hit the uh, mid. And with this, the, the black takes the green better than the white. So with this, I'll probably have to do three coats to get the look that I want. With white, it'll be more. I always tell people the easiest shoes to customize are white, black, and gray. Um, you, you know, you have no yellow shoe, it's gonna kinda be hard to customize that. All right, so let's, just, let's get into the rubber. I'm gonna mix raspberry and maroon together. I'm just gonna add maybe two. One, two. Oh. I'm gonna test it like I did before. Dark, this might work. Might not need to add white. So same thing here, you just wanna spread it out. Get those edges. So my next coat that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix it with Too Hard. I like to put a little bit more Too Hard than paint. This way I know it, it'll be durable. I don't do midsoles, but if I were to do like a midsole, like a retro three or something, four, because those crack a lot, I'm definitely mixing too hard with white paint. It gives it more durability, in my opinion. And I'm different, it's, this, this is what works for me. You know, 
different customizers may do different things. So don't jump down my throat saying how, oh no, you should have did this like this. I mean, that might work for you, but it might not work for me. The too hard is on. I'm pretty much good on that. It's, it's, it's flexing. Um, like I said, too hard, man. It, it's, it works wonders. So we're gonna get the finest brush. Spotter, zero. At the end of the day, a custom is whatever you want, whatever I wanna do, it's a custom. It's not a standard, you know, it's free range. We're almost home, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now I'm basically just putting the finishing touches. I'm gonna do the Nike symbol just to make it pop more. So now I'm just gonna lay down the white and then we're gonna use pale yellow. So here I got the pale yellow. I'm just gonna drop a dab of maize in there. I'm gonna add the too hard to the yellow. I also put some dull in here too, just to match the consistency of the, the other rubber. And then after I do that, I'm just gonna matte finish it just to keep it you know, consistent all the way around the board. Matte finisher. So just a little drop. So I got the matte finish that I wanted. Everything's looking factory. Lace them up. A lot of people sleep on laces. The laces, it's the icing on the cake. Ah, that's pretty much it, man. It's been great. Malcolm Garrett. Catch me on Instagram at Malcolm Garrett by MalcolmGarrett.com. That's my portfolio slash website. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, once again, I want to thank Angelus for having me all the way from New Jersey. Peace.